It's time once again to turn back the clock and take a look at Swindon from a time gone by. More Swindon through the years, comparing the images from the past with those of a modern Swindon. And this time we're turning back the clock to the 1990s. It was boom time for Swindon. Expansion, conversion and improvements, all captured by the Swindon cable cameras for the weekly news programme This Is Swindon. We now look back at some of those images capturing a town in transition, frozen in time, in more Swindon Through the Years. Delving into the Swindon Cable Archive, we're turning back the clock to 1994. Another look at Swindon Through the Years. The year is 1994, and I wonder if you can guess our location. We are in West Swindon, and a vacant plot of land that was about to be redeveloped. We are on the corner of the roundabout facing the old Renault building. In 1994, this vacant plot off Shaw Road was the proposed site for a filling station. Original planning applications had been submitted and refused in 1992, and the site was still wasteland by 1994, but in November the planning permission was granted. Our modern views show how the area has been developed. It also shows how traffic has increased. The garage is operated by Shell, and provides one of the few filling stations in the area, apart from the nearby Asda Superstore. It may only have been at the planning stage back in 1994, but today it's a popular garage with a constant stream of cars and vans stopping to fill up. And although still known by many as the Renault building, it's been a long time since Renault moved out, back in 2001, of what is now known as the Spectrum Building. The then and now views provide a fascinating comparison. Comparing the images, we notice that even the road sign has changed. It's still Shaw Road, but now a modern version of the same sign has replaced the original. And if we take a look in the other direction, the modern view shows us that the building that once housed Thorny MI at Wesley Campus has also disappeared. It's another of the town's Aldi superstores. Wesley Campus was one of the 1980s steel and glass office sites that have been swept away in our modern town. Our modern view shows one of the town's original hotels. At one point, this was the place to stay if you were visiting Swindon. 
It's always been known as the post house and our modern view shows it's now part of the Holiday Inn chain. But as we turn back the clock, we see it was part of the Forte Group. Once again, the archive views show how tidy the trees and shrubs were kept. Today, the view is obscured by vegetation. It's easy to forget that for many years, this was one of Swindon's premier hotels, with its modern concrete architecture situated on the outskirts of town. It was a popular venue in the 70s and 80s for locals to enjoy a meal in the hotel's restaurant. And how easily we forget branding and signage and how it changes across the years, reflecting commercial priorities. All things we take for granted. And there, to show just that, the main sign at Coat Roundabout. Back then we noticed the garage is one of the local Burma oil forecourts. It also shows us just how much busier the traffic flow is in the more modern view. This road has seen enormous development across the years, now with a new housing estate and the Great Western Hospital. The Sun Inn, especially popular in the warm summer months for those walking around nearby Cote Water. And the nearby petrol station, still playing their part in a modern Swindon. More views that reflect just how Swindon has changed through the years. Our next view takes us to an unlikely location. We're in Royal Wootton Bassett, on the bridge that carries Marlborough Road over the Great Western Railway main line. In this, our 1993 view, it shows the railway approaching the junction. This was an important railway junction too. It was here that the original route of the Great Western Railway was split and in 1903 a new route built to take the railway towards Badminton and on to South Wales using the then new Southern Tunnel, at the time the longest railway tunnel in the world. The very same location today shows that electrification has now been complete. The diesel-powered high-speed trains that once operated on the route have disappeared and brand new electric trains are powered from the plethora of overhead wires. Clean, green, environmentally friendly energy. In this view you can clearly see the junction with the line to South Wales curving off to the right. The wires and masts of the catenary have altered the view completely. It looks like knitting strung up above the railway. The modern eco-friendly powered electric trains operate on one of the most modern railways of today. However, there is a certain irony that these Japanese trains, many of which have been imported, run past the side of the old railway works in Swindon. As part of the modernisation, the Broadtown Road overbridge was completely rebuilt just a couple of years ago. In fact, the deck raised to provide extra clearance underneath for the electric wires. It's also worth mentioning that this was once the location for the station for Wooden Bassett. Opened in 1841, it was later rebuilt on this site to coincide with the opening of the new line to Wales. Unfortunately, the station closed back in 1965. And to the right of the junction would have stood the public house, the Beaufort Arms. It was situated on Station Road in Wooden Bassett and was closed when it was gutted by fire and later demolished and replaced by housing. 
The comparisons with the images from the 1990s clearly show how the view has dramatically changed. Only the route of the railway remains the same. This railway junction at Wooden Bassett is another example of how the passing of years has seen a familiar sight that we all take for granted transformed beyond all recognition in the name of progress. And although the modern railway is fast and efficient, who wouldn't love to turn back the clock to see a king or a castle steam locomotive roaring once again along the main line through what is now Royal Wooten Bassett? We'll have more Swindon through the years coming soon, but in the meantime, please do remember, like, comment and share. We'd like to hear your memories of a changing town. And look out, more Swindon through the years coming soon. Bye.